Throne of Grace, a mountain man, an epic adventure, and the bloody conquest of the American West is a historical narrative by Tom Clavin that delves into the life of the legendary mountain man Hugh Glass. The book explores the American West's early 19th century era through the lens of Glass's remarkable experiences and contributions, giving insight into the trials and tribulations faced by those who sought to conquer and settle the vast and untamed territories beyond the civilized bounds of the United States. The book opens with a portrayal of Glass's early life, tracing his origins as an explorer and fur trapper. He was known for his rugged individualism and expert survival skills, which were unparalleled among his peers. Glass was part of the wave of frontiersmen who ventured into the unknown, facing Native American tribes, wild animals, and the harsh elements of the wilderness. His life was a testament to the courage and resilience required to navigate this dangerous new world. Notably, Clavin recounts the infamous incident that solidified Glass's place in Western lore, his mauling by a grizzly bear. While on an expedition in the territory that would become South Dakota, Glass was viciously attacked, leaving him severely wounded and on the brink of death. Abandoned by his companions, who deemed his survival impossible, Glass miraculously clung to life. With a sheer determination to live and seek vengeance on those who left him for dead, he embarked on an arduous journey of recovery and pursuit. Crawling and hobbling over hundreds of miles of untamed wilderness, Glass's trek back to civilization became a legendary tale of survival against all odds. He navigated through hostile landscapes with unwavering resolve, subsisting on scant forage and the raw flesh of animals when necessary. His quest for survival and retribution was fueled by a desire to confront the two men who abandoned him, John Fitzgerald and Jim Bridger, the latter being one of the youngest members of their trapping brigade. Throne of Grace delves into the broader context of Glass's vengeance pursuit, exploring the challenges of the American West's expansion. The United States was a young nation experiencing growing pains, wrestling with its manifest destiny to stretch from sea to shining sea. The government, entrepreneurs, and settlers alike were driven by the lure of untapped resources and the promise of prosperity that the West seemed to offer. The book further examines the cultural clashes inherent in this expansion, particularly between the Native American tribes and the European Americans encroaching upon their land. These conflicts shaped the landscape in which Glass operated as the indigenous peoples sought to preserve their territory and way of life against the relentless push of settlers and trappers. Hugh Glass himself was a product of these tumultuous times, and his story includes interactions with various tribes, some hostile and others more diplomatic. Clavin paints a vivid picture of the burgeoning fur trade, a major economic engine propelling the drive into the West. Men like Glass were at the front line of this industry, trapping beavers and other animals for their valuable pelts, which were in high demand back east and in European markets. The fur trade not only motivated individuals like Glass, but also fostered the development of trading posts and infrastructure that facilitated further exploration and settlement. As Hugh Glass pursued Fitzgerald and Bridger, Readers are taken on a journey through the landscapes of the Missouri River and its tributaries, the Rocky Mountains, and the Great Plains, each offering its own set of perils and wonders. Clavin's detailed narrative emphasizes Glass's exceptional tracking and navigation skills, which were instrumental in his survival and in bringing him face to face with Fitzgerald. The climax of the story arrives when Glass finally confronts Fitzgerald, demanding justice for the betrayal. However, by the time Glass reaches him, Fitzgerald has enlisted in the army, making him difficult to harm without repercussions. Glass confronts Fitzgerald, but is ultimately unable to enact the murder he initially desired. Instead, he retrieves his stolen rifle and both men part ways. Glass's interactions with Bridger are less dramatic, the young man is remorseful, and Glass ultimately forgives him. In the aftermath of Glass's ordeal and quest for retribution, Clavin does not shy away from the harsh realities of life in the American West. The environment that enabled Glass's remarkable journey was the same one that saw countless Native Americans displaced and decimated by disease, warfare, and broken treaties. Throne of Grace does not glorify this dark chapter of American history, 
but rather presents it as an integral part of the narrative, reminding readers of the high cost of America's expansion. As the book draws to a close, Clavin reflects on Hugh Glass's legacy and the enduring fascination with his story. Glass's life after his quest is briefly touched upon, with his continued work as a trapper and his eventual demise, reportedly in a Native American attack. The impact of Glass's tale, embellished through time but grounded in astonishing fact, continues to resonate with the American psyche. It serves as a reminder of the rugged determination and indomitable spirit that, for better or worse, characterize the pioneers of the American West. Throne of Grace thus serves not only as a chronicle of Hugh Glass's extraordinary exploits, but also as a portrait of the American West's brutal conquest, a transformation that brought both progress and pain, altering the land and its peoples forever. Through the enthralling story of one man's resilience, Clavin invites readers to contemplate the nation's complex and often troubling history, while also celebrating the individual tenacity that is a hallmark of American folklore. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.